I'm going to make a really simple sauerkraut and venison stew today. What we need is some sauerkraut, um, some butter beans, an onion, a carrot, some lardons, a little bit of red wine, and some venison sausages. Um, if you don't like venison, you can use any kind of sausages you want. If you use pork, I'd recommend using white wine instead of red. Also, you need a couple of potatoes for mashing, um, or you can just eat this with bread instead. And we are also going to need some butter to mash the potatoes with, and some dried herbs. You can use anything you like really. I'm going to use rosemary, thyme would work just as well. Boil some water for the potatoes, and you want to chop the potatoes into small parts so they cook quicker. As usual, we start off by chopping the onion and crying a little bit. I thought I was going to cry as usual, but I'm absolutely fine. I don't know what I did differently this time to make myself invincible. Heat a little bit of olive oil on the pan. Once the oil is hot, add the lard on. I'm going to use one little packet like this. I'm using oat smoked ones because I really like that smoky flavour, but you can use unsmoked ones or even just a bit of bacon cut into strips. I'm just going to grate the carrot by hand I can't be bothered to set up the uh, electric one. So pour the boiling water over the potatoes, stick some salt in there and bring that back to the boil. Meanwhile, we're just frying the lard on in the oil. I'm going to give them a few minutes just to brown. Once the water's boiling again, turn it down a little bit and just let them cook. We're going to open the sauerkraut. Oh, it's quite easy this time. I'm just going to drain the sauerkraut now. I'm just going to chop the venison sausages into little chunks. I'm going to use four of them. I really like using venison for this because it gives a nice depth to the stew. But you can easily do it with pork or beef sausages. I'm going to add the venison sausages in. Make sure you're stirring the meat so it gets brown on all sides. The venison and the sausages are going to need about, I'd say, five minutes in there before we stick the veg in. The carrot and the onion. Oh, God. Time to make a huge mess, like me. Mix that in for a further minute or so. And the sauerkraut goes in. So mix it in really well. Break all the sauerkraut up before adding in the wine. I'm just adding a large glass of wine in there. We're going to bring that to the boil. Now you can cover it up, turn the heat down a little bit and let it simmer away for about five minutes. And finally we are going to add the drained butter beans in. They don't really need to cook. At this point you can put some pepper in as well. I wouldn't advise you to put lots of salt in as the sauerkraut is already quite salty so just try it at the end and see if you need any more. We're also going to add some dried rosemary in there. You can use dried thyme or bouquet garni, whatever you like really. I'm going to check up on the potatoes. I'm just going to stick a fork in and they're falling apart already, so it's time to drain them. And put them back in the pan, ready for mashing. So I'm putting about one and a half tablespoons of butter in with the potatoes. Now I'm going to use garlic salt, just because I think that works really well, but any kind of salt would do. Everyone has their own way of doing mash, so I won't go into too much detail over it. I like to put a splash of milk in there sometimes. Sometimes a bit of horseradish. 
But the sauerkraut stew has got quite a strong flavour, so I'm just going to keep this simple. The most important thing is to try them and see if they taste good to you. So the stew has been bubbling away, I'd say for about 12 to 15 minutes in total. And it is basically ready. I'm just going to heat the mashed potatoes through, give that a couple more minutes, and serve up. And that's it. Now this dish is really good the next day as well. So it's great if you have a little bit extra. Sauerkraut and venison stew.